There's a lot of things in life that can be seen as difficult or annoying to do. Some people might get annoyed by everyday things like your earphones get entangled up or trying to receive a response from Steam on why you got banned from Kill the Emoji, but these can all be helped with life hacks. There's a lot of channels on YouTube who try to appeal to everyday stuff using arts and crafts and life hacks, but some of the life hacks they show are just so stupid. I don't know if I'm just too much of a caveman to understand their godlike intellect or not, but I'll let you decide for yourself. <laughs> Whenever I go jogging, I never know what to do with my phone. Maybe in my pocket? It doesn't fit. I'm sorry, why does that pocket have a headphone sign on it? As if a phone was supposed to fit in there, I'd say I would have struggled trying to fit a Tamagotchi in that. We have an idea that you can implement even without special training. Remove the phone case. Place it under the sleeve. Snap the phone in from the outside. Thanks to the layer of fabric, the phone will stay in the case and won't fall out during the run. That phone probably costs about 600 quid and you're putting it in the trust of a plastic case inside your shirt. A life hack supposed to be something that makes doing things easier, but if I did this I'd spend the whole run on edge making sure it doesn't fall out. I'm pretty sure that's even what she's doing as well while she's running. Going to a bathroom stall with a broken lock is a painful experience. How annoying! The lock on the door won't close. I wouldn't want anyone to break in while I'm busy. Now this one is a genuine problem. There's nothing worse than going into a stall on Weverspoons and having to pray that Big Stevie from Table 23 doesn't need to unload a steak dinner. So I'm very excited to see how to stop this. Oh, here's an idea. Hang a long handle from your bag on the door. Close the door. The handle will serve as a sign that someone is inside and will save you from any issues. Now, I don't think whoever made this realised that it's a double-edged sword because, yes, it will probably give people the idea that someone is in the bathroom, but at the same time it may as well just say, here's my bag, please steal it. Because if someone grabs your bag off the door while you're on the toilet, you'll either have to run after them with brown legs or just accept it and keep going. There's really no way around it. Just don't forget that drinking too much soda leads to burping. It would be so embarrassing to burp right in the face of the guy you're crazy about. Your ability to improvise and basic beatboxing skills can save the situation. The fact that I can't even respond to this speaks volumes for me. I hope there is people in the world who watch this and are fully prepared to just start a trap beat the second they burp now, because I for one will do this every time. The handle of your bag can come off when you least expect it. A bracelet will help you out. Connect the chain to the ring using the bracelet. The problem is solved, and now you can go out and about. Why can't they all be like this? This is a genuine solution to a problem. I'm pretty sure that this 9 second clip is the most useful thing in the entirety of this 10 minutes and 28 seconds of suffering. Oh no! Nothing could be worse than breaking wind in front of your friends. Of course, they'll pretend that this happens to everyone. But then they'll start cracking jokes. Why is it that they react to the smell of a fart first rather than the sound when it's as loud as an aeroplane? I'm pretty sure all the jokes they're going to be making are going to be ones in sign language. The best way to not be suspicious is to imitate similar sounds. For example, rub your fingers on glass. The best way to not be suspicious? I don't think making sure everyone hears you rubbing a window which is apparently made of rubber is going to be inconspicuous at all. Did you think someone was having gas? Having gas? No. I thought Sarah was just having a stroke. I just put on a clean t-shirt and it immediately got dirty. Why do you never look where you are going? I was going to spend a while complaining about how she could have just moved rather than looking in the distance inside her own home, but I think I'm just going to accept the rules of this new world now. Take your arms out of the sleeves. Turn the shirt back to front. Put your arms in the sleeves. The dirty stain is now covered with your hair. Is that it? Turn your t-shirt around? How does this channel have almost 5 million subscribers? I don't think they understand that almost all shirts don't fit back to front. And if there are ones that do, then I'm pretty sure whoever was wearing it would already know how to do that. I don't get why they had to explain it in three steps either. Remove your arms, turn it around and put them back in. Was she going to step into the shirt if that was an outline for her? Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if that's another hack for getting a stain on your trousers. Also, I'd like to point out that the channel hearted a comment from Billy Eyelid saying that all the women are beautiful, but when you go to the account, it's just an empty page with 25,000 subscribers. This channel has so much mysterious power surrounding it, I feel like I'm going to be sent to the shadow realm before I can finish this video. Some guys hate being photographed. What should you do if your boyfriend is like that, but your friend is waiting for a picture of him? If someone doesn't like getting their photo taken, I'm pretty sure they're not going to sit there raising their fist rather than saying no or just turning away. For some reason I feel like everyone in this video is just talking in Fortnite emotes and the world itself just doesn't have audio. Quickly take a photo. 
Then switch to taking pictures of leaves and your surroundings. Just try to be subtle about it. How is flashing someone with a camera than doing an instant 90 degree turn in the bush subtle? I'm pretty sure he's aware you're taking pictures of him too since he was throwing his fist about. If you want to take a photo without him noticing, do it without the flash considering you're in broad daylight anyway. A walk with a friend can end at any time. Especially if she suddenly started to sweat and stopped feeling attractive. Alright, this is Trim Trim Select's chance to redeem themselves. If they found a genuine life hack around this, then I'll excuse them from the war crimes they've committed in the past. There is a way out. A bottle of water will help fix it. Pour water on your friend. You know what? If you really would go inside because of a sweat stain, but you're fine with staying outside soaked in water, then you do you. But please stay away from me. That's all I ask. Did you notice they made sure she was wearing dungarees just so they could avoid making it look weird with the full t-shirt? I know a lot of these are useless for us gamers as we don't leave our caves, but still, for the gamers that do, please don't use any of these so-called hacks. Girls use hairspray to protect their hairstyles. But sometimes the hairspray gets in your hair and in your face. It hurts! My eyes! In order to not completely cover yourself with hairspray, use a paper plate. Or, you know, you could probably just keep your eyes closed instead of opening them. That would do the trick as well. But regardless, I'm glad to say that we've came to the last of these life hacks. Just hold on for a bit longer. Some of you won't make it, but we need to keep going. Have you already made plans, but the only shoes around are your older sisters? What size is she? Is she Bigfoot? Yep, these sneakers are definitely too big for me. Would anyone like to hazard a guess as to how they get around this problem? I personally believe it's going to be a tutorial on how to create a shrink ray, but you can decide for yourself. Put on whatever you have. And now you need to play a little with the laces. Wrap the laces around your ankle like ballerina shoes. Your foot won't fall out of the sneakers. Because that doesn't look weird at all. To be fair, if it actually works, then well done Trim Trim Select. They end the video by asking you to comment which hack surprised you the most, so I thought we'd have a look at a few. First we have Sulando Flo who says, you can always improve fart beatbox. I think she's trying to say to use the burp beatbox with a fart, but I don't want to give them any more ideas for new hacks. Then we have Susie Barlow who said, you want to know how he is beautiful? Look at the first word. She then replied to her own comment, correcting herself rather than just editing the comment. Then finally, we have my favourite from someone who says, In the ZOM class, I am Vietnamese. I couldn't agree more. I also commented the only thing that I could think of during the entire video. But thankfully, that is the end of this video, gamers. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe as it does help. And remember, gamers, if you ever spill something on your shirt, just eat the part of the shirt that it's on. It's probably got some good nutrients in it anyway. <laughs>